everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing Zero Base One Cinema Paradise, their new comeback. I feel like just yesterday we were unboxing Feel the Pop, but whatever. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't complain about a temporary group being active, right? Anyway, I have the two photo book versions, Romance and SF. Let's just get started. We're going to start with the Romance. Um, How could I be forgetting nail check don't look at that hand but i actually did nail art for the first time in like months it feels like this hand is a little a little stodgy but whatever and of course time to talk about the track list skip ahead if you don't care number one title track good so bad amazing this is like sonically i feel the same about it as i did feel the pop however i feel like good so bad the music video and like the theme of this whole album matches a lot more because that was one of my criticisms I had was like there's cowboy and then there's tennis it just felt all over the place but this music video feels a lot more consistent I guess so I love good so bad it's great kill the Romeo it's kind of like their main b-side that they've been promoting I still haven't decided how I feel about it like I don't know the chorus is definitely not for me eh. But I still can't decide if I like the rest of the song enough to excuse it. Does that make sense? Because there's a lot of songs that it's like, yeah, I don't like this one line of the chorus, but it's fine because they move on immediately. So it, you know. So I'm still undecided on her. Bada, or I guess Wave, which is a remake song, which they kind of was like a pre-release-ish. I don't know. It's fine. It You can definitely tell it is a like 90s, like first gen ish k-pop song when did it actually come out okay 1997 so yeah that is kind of like first gen k-pop but it's good i think they sound great on it it's a cute song insomnia it's that one for me yes yes thank you thank you i immediately heard the highlight medley for this album and i knew i was like insomnia is for me yes it is um road movie is not and Eternity is a beautiful ballad. And then obviously, we have already heard Yurta Yurta, so we don't really need to talk about that one. But overall, this album, I don't know. I The last album that I loved by them was Melting Point, but I hated Crush as a title track. So I'm like, I guess I'm sacrificing a good album for a good title track. So Feel the Pop, I had one B-side I liked, and Cinema Paradise, I have one B-side I liked. So at least I have one. But let's go ahead and look at this this is so cute here we go wake one has kind of been very uh, creative when it comes to their album packaging don't kill me for praising wake one but when the concept photos first dropped for this album the first one they dropped was the digipack version which is a lot of a darker concept so i was a little worried that the song would be darker but it's not um instead it's more this vibe i guess like it's very cutesy boy group music and that's what i love about zero base one which is another reason that i was upset at crush because i was like it's a little too dark for me it's a little too dark but man they're just doing so well and i'm just so proud of them like they're so big right now and Tede has brown hair in this concept but he has other hair colors and other concepts and don't worry i will be bringing it up when we see it later this is yeah okay i think ricky's black hair looks really good i kind of wish they would get rid of the mullet though i don't really like the mullet on him i think his best hair is this photo i'm putting on the screen right now it's like it was like an airport public outing i still think it's his best look which he kind of kept that for like the debut era, but that is so cute. Look at them down there. He already looks like he's grown so much. And it's definitely going to be apparent when we see like when Zero Base One inevitably contract expires. I feel like we're going to look back and be like, wow, Eugene was a baby. Because that's how how it was with Wan Young. He looked so young when you look back at La Vie and Rose. But during Panorama, I was like, they look so old, so... I don't know. We'll see. And even comparing Panorama to Ive now is crazy. Like, they look so much older. 
It makes me so sad. Everyone's getting old. He cannot not serve face. <laughs> he knows his skills, I guess. Cuban looks so handsome. And Kanoke, kind of, okay, look at his shorts. He looks so stupid. I think shorts on male idols are just so cute. They look like little kids when they wear them. Oh, so cute. Ew, put some socks on, bro. Oh, lyrics. Oh, yes, Good So Bad, produced by Kenzie. You know my girl, my girl Kenzie. Road movie actually really pissed me off. I didn't mention this earlier, sorry. That pre-chorus is gorgeous. And the chorus was poop. Bad. <laughs> sorry if you like it. Not to, not to yuck your yum, but. All right. And look at this cute photo at the end. I love them so much, y'all. And they, they've been such a consistent like unboxing on my channel too. Like I had to pick up these two versions because I was like, there is no way I'm not. Okay, looks like this is a poster. Cute. If Tumblr stands were still popular, they would be calling those soft boys. Let me tell you, I miss K-pop Tumblr. I know it's like still exists, but man, that was like, that was where I started my K-pop standing journey, you know? During the shoot, I pretended that the pillow was my lover. Of course, I'm not that strong to actual lift a person like that, but those were the feelings I portrayed during the shoot. Is, did anyone else write in English? I wasn't looking. And I don't like the word lover. Like, don't say that. The spider was alive. They told me we'd do CGI, but it's cool. Me and the spider buddies now. Oh, <laughs> Matthew. Yeah, this too. Like, this is all from the, sorry. I'm all over the place. This is all from like the beginning trailer that they put out. So I was like, is this going to be the concept of the comeback? And it wasn't. It like is, but it isn't. Just as long as it's not the main music video, then I don't care. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, and look, they're going to watch a movie together. Cute. Okay. Little production note. And then here's the CD. First contender for which CD I'm going to keep. Oh, it's very hollow. I'm trying not to face reveal right now. <gasps> That's cute. With the green. It's very green. Next we have this, which I don't remember what this is. Oh, okay, those are random members. This is a little envelope. So we got a little bookmark. Oh, and I got today. Oh, it's like a three film photo. Cute. Okay, first bias poll of the day. And this is like a little photo. Oh, I could not tell who that was because I was like, who has blue hair? It's Sung Han Bin. That's a good photo. And then here's a little clear cut, little transparent photo. Okay, that's Jung Hao. Let me see if I can, there you go. There he is. There's Hao Bin together. <laughs> and then last but not least, the photo card. So you only get one, which is kind of disappointing, but I digress. Okay, we're manifesting Tede or Gunuk. Who is this? Is this Matthew? Oh my God, it is Matthew. This is adorable. Are you kidding me? It's super bent though. Can you see that? I'm gonna have to like flatten that out. But look at this car. He's kissing the flower. Matthew's my third bias too. So like how the hell am I supposed to get rid of this? This keeps happening to me. That's so cute. Okay, moving on. All right. So now for the SF version, which I don't know if that's supposed to be special. No, because that would be SE, special effects. But like SFX is special effects. I don't know. Someone tell me what SF means. San Francisco? <laughs> well, because it's like romance, so I'm expecting it to be like a movie. So like a romance movie? Why don't we call it BL next? <laughs> I gotta stop. Okay, let's get my inclusions out. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. And like, I'm not sure what we're going for. Oh my God, SF is sci-fi, right? <laughs> wow, I'm so smart. Um, I'm not sure what we're going for space-wise besides, yeah, like doing sci-fi. So it's like a romance movie, a sci-fi movie. I don't know if the Digipack has like a name. And I think this is so cute. I feel like there's not many astronaut concepts, especially for 
album photo books. Like I'm sure this might be something that exists for like a season's greetings or something. His blonde hair is so good. Kind of a honey blonde and so is his. The platinum, he looks great. I love the blonde. I was actually worried that I wasn't gonna like it but then they put some toner in it and I was like, oh, I love it. This is so cute. And the moon boots. Finally an idol like wearing moon boots and it makes sense because they're on the moon. <laughs> That's so cute. He has a little heart in his contact. I don't know if you can see that. They're adorable. I love them. Shut up. Matthew. That's cute little squat. Okay, so time to talk about his blonde hair. In this photo shoot, it doesn't look that bad, but why did they bleach his eyebrows? Why are they not toning it a color? I also just think Tay-Day doesn't look good with this color hair. Like they should have given him like cooler toned hair color. Like maybe like a more bluey, more purpley. I think he would look really good. I mean, he kind of did a purple before and he looked real, he looked nice with it. I just think, I think he just suits cooler toned hair. And that's my hot take. And Ricky, this outfit looks so good. I love, like his hair kind of is curly wavy. It's a yes for me. And I want them to do something with Guven's hair. I'm, I'm, I think Guven's going to be the member that <laughs> he gets. Oh, do they all have this contact? I wasn't paying attention. Guven's going to be the member that never has anything other than dark colors. I mean, Gunnuk is kind of there too. This is cute. Oh my God. I love him so much. He looks so tall. I want to know how tall, tall how tall he actually is because I am a tall girly. Someone play the Lee Young Ji song <laughs> and he looks so tall. And I'm like, if I were to stand next to him, would he actually be tall or would he not? Eugene looks so cute. I think Eugene is also a member that never dyes his hair. But also, I'm judging this off of what? Four comebacks? Like, they have more time. But I like it when idols experiment with their hair colors. Because that's the most fun part about K-pop is like... They try hair colors out for like a minute. And then go back to a different one. This concept is adorable. I think it's my favorite out of the two. Look at them. Oh... I love them so much, you guys. <laughs> mm, all right. They should have put something here. It kind of looks so empty. And this is going to be hard to store. Poster. And they've been doing this, I think, consistently every comeback. That one album is matte and one is glossy. This is the glossy album, as you can tell. This does not match the vibes. Why are we all, like, look so angry? We're mugging. <laughs> like even this is glossy there were so many stickers on my face so for them to stay on we glued them on my face probably with eyelash glue I'm assuming walkie talkie is that what that says and I'm sad that this either of these con concepts I don't think they'll have a purple haired gonok because I love purple hair did he have it in this one? I'm not sure he definitely has it right there and of course he's in a striped shirt does he request those? <laughs> what do we think? He seems to like stripes. All right, let's see. I think it's gonna be the exact same as the green one, but it's just orange. And I think I like this one more. My reasoning is because this is the concept that's the digital album cover, so I don't know. That's just how I think in my head. Let's see who I got for this. <gasps> Dung, and it is like, what the hell got on it? Is that adhesive? Ew. I don't know. It doesn't look appealing. Put it away. Sorry, Jung. Okay, and then you get a little circle card. And I got Matthew. Oh, this is cute. Them in the little bubble. That's adorable. Oh my god, I love it. Look, and I can put him in here. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> okay, and the little clear card. I got Tede. Move stuff so I can put him on here. <gasps> cutie okay so i have two today big inclusions no sign of gonna quite yet but let's see who we got for the photo card <gasps> cute 
cute. Okay, so this is an era that I haven't pulled one of my biases photo cards. I pull a lot of Gunnook and I haven't pulled a single Gunnook in this album either. So that's also very interesting. This is a cute card. But I'm pulling a lot more Tere than I usually pull. I also don't know if this is accurate at all. This is just like from what I remember. I can fact check myself with my spreadsheet. All right. I do have two pobs, I think, because uh, I pre-ordered these from K-Town for you. So I guess we still have two more chances to pull one of my biases, but here we go. <gasps> Ricky. Oh, this is a cool idea. Like a mirror. Is all of them like that? I don't know, but he looks good. He looks good. All right, last card. <gasps> How? How adorable. So yeah, they're all kind of gonna be a, like a mirror selfie, but not a mirror selfie. This is fun. I like this idea. All right, let's go ahead and get everything cleaned up and we'll wrap this video up. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's unboxing. Please comment down below any thoughts that you have about this comeback. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I want to hear what you think. Um, don't forget to also like and subscribe. You know how it works. You can trade with me on my trading Instagram. All of these cards will be up for trade. You can also follow me on Twitter and buy from me on my Macari page. And all of those links will be in the description. I think that's all I have to yap about. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. What?